Hey YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. You knew I was away over the weekend. Went down to Columbus, Ohio, and did some shopping. Hit some thrift stores. I even hit a few garage sales. A um, couple of the thrift stores down there are quite expensive. Um, they're okay if you're shopping for yourself, but for resale, they're pretty pricey. So, and my rule of if I can't at least double the price, it's not worth my time. That was pretty much it. So uh, they're called Ohio Thrift. And even though they're called Ohio, there's none up around here, around the Cleveland area. But within like a 12, 15 mile radius, there had to be at least a dozen of these stores. So I hit a few, uh, did some Goodwills, did some Salvation Armies. They also have Volunteers of America down there. And of course, some garage sales. So let me show you what I got. Um, first off, I got this cookie jar. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but it's a police officer. It says cookie cop. And when you open the lid... Stop! Come away from the cookie jar! <laughs> Isn't that cute? That was only $2.92. And hey, the batteries were even working. He needs a little bit of cleaned up, but that's no big deal. Um, I've sold one of these mugs before. It uh, says, Good Morning McDonald's on it, and they are the uh, Pyrex. Um, so I got two of those. These were, I think, 59 cents each, and I've sold one previous, so I don't have any doubt those will go. I'm usually looking for lamps if I can get a good price on them, but I saw this stained glass shade, and it was $5, $4.99, and it's really really in nice condition. So let me move him out of the way. He's in the way. So I figure I can wait and down the road I'll find one that'll go to this, but it's very pretty. So that was a good find. At a garage sale, I actually got, you can see these, a handful of uh, peacock feathers for a dollar for the whole bunch. And there's probably 15 of them. So I have a couple containers. I might put them in the containers and then sell it as one piece. But that was a good price. Couldn't pass that up. On uh, another garage sale, I got this 12-volt uh, digital heating mug, stainless steel. I guess it has a place you can plug it into your car. Keeps beverages hot. And it was $2, brand new in the box. So I haven't done any research on this, but I am going to look it up on eBay. Uh, but I figured $2 couldn't hardly beat that, so that was a nice find. Um, I've sold these in the past, different styles, different colors, and it's a ceramic boot. I got this one, I think they had 50 cents on it, and by the time I hit the garage sale, they said everything's half. So I got it for a whole quarter. Um, I got uh, this wooden bowl that I'm going to try and refinish. It is hand carved. It is really pretty and very, very heavy. I think it was $2. So I like that a lot. Um, I got a, another Pyrex bowl with the, uh, looks like sunflowers on it. That was a pretty good price. Uh, I think I paid 3 for that. Um, I did get a couple of video games. Well, I got a video game system. I got a Game Boy Advance with 11 games at a garage sale. Now, mind you, my kids know more about this stuff than I do, but uh, the lady was asking 10, and I said, uh, I said, I don't know if, you know, what kind of games, you know, my kids would like or whatever, so I said, will you take seven? She said, yes. So I paid $7 for the game system and 11 games. From what my kids tell me, the only game that's that's the best value in here is a Dr. Mario game. And everything works. I sat and messed with it for a little while, so I figure that's a pretty good price. I'm probably going to put it on eBay for 20 including shipping, everything. So that isn't too bad. Um, I also got this PlayStation 2 Sonic Heroes game. Um, I'm going to have my son try that out and see if it works. It's not worth a huge amount of money, but I think I only paid 2 bucks for it. Um, I also, it's one of these days I'll have to show you, I have some little sculptures and different things that are fat people. I have fat art, 
And I saw this frame and I had to have it. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> so I don't know what picture I'm going to put in there yet, but that was only $2, so that was I bought for myself. Um, I got some salt and pepper shakers. These look like leaves. And I think those were 90 cents, and I think these were probably a dollar. Um, these are little acorns, brand new. Um, I got a little cosmetic bag for myself. I think that was 90 cents uh, just for traveling. So I got that. Um, I got this little backpack for $2. It's a little plastic backpack and it has blocks in it. So I thought that was a good price. Kids love blocks. So I figure I may, may try and sell it now and or if I get more, I can add more to it later. So $2, that wasn't a bad price. I got a little ceramic uh, baby shoe. It was 90 cents. Uh, let's see. I got a rolling pin for 50 cents. Um, I was in one store, I don't know if you have these around you, called Old Time Pottery, and I always check out their scratch and dent area because you can usually find something if you can glue it together or, you know, fix it up somehow, it's a pretty good price. And I got this little owl dish, uh, it's probably for like a spoon rest, I would guess, it's got a chip in it, so I'm probably just going to color that in with black. And I might just keep that for myself. Isn't he cute? So I think I paid a whole like 50 cents for him. Um, I also found at one of the thrift stores um, 12 replacement pack for $2 of the Petty Paws. Um, I'm probably going to put these on eBay. They're all in there unopened. Um, so I don't know how much these are going for, but I'll have to do a little research on that. Um, I got this frame. And the back is busted, but I'm going to put a tie so you can hang it up. This was originally $10, and at the clearance at the pot, Old Time Pottery, it was $0.99. Cents. And it says, Dogs are miracles with paws. Isn't that cute? So that was a good deal. Um, I got this little bird on top of a uh, rock that says Faith. That was a dollar. That was at a garage sale. Or 50 cents, actually. Um, at another uh, thrift store, I got four boxes and a CD of Sensa. You know, the weight loss stuff you're supposed to sprinkle on. And it's unopened. So I have no idea how much this is going for, but definitely I'm going to check on uh, eBay. Um, two of them I noticed are um, expired. The date is expired. And then two other ones have like two more years on them. So I'm going to look that up and see. But I figure that was a good price. It was like $2.92. So that's, that was definitely worth getting. And unopened. They still have the shrink wrap on them. Um, I got this bag of, I believe it's six pair of the socks that you make sock monkeys out of. <laughs> and this was $4.94. So I'm going to check on eBay and see if people buy those on there. It also has the instructions in here too. I think it takes one pair to make the whole thing. So let's see how that goes. Um, I got this little stand-up plaque for a dollar. And it says, nobody knows the truffle I truffles I've seen. Isn't that adorable? I couldn't pass that up either. Um, let's see. I got a couple cross-stitch kits at like one of the first places I went to. Um, this one says Bake Shop, and it has different uh, cookies. And it has this frame with it that goes on the finished product. The original price on here says $10.99. I got it for $0.90 cents unopened. So I'll probably put that on eBay. This one is actually is a needlepoint uh, stitchery, and it's a little girl holding a doll, and it's unopened, has everything in it, 90 cents. And this one is a mom wolf with three of her puppies. And it says Nature's Window is the name of the company. Um, 90 cents, and you see everything's in there. So those are really good prices. I couldn't, I couldn't hardly beat that at all. 
Um, there are some uh, projects, some craft projects I've been wanting to try that you need maps. So I got uh, this one. Actually, this is a 2013, if you can believe it. United States, Canada, and Mexico. And I think I paid $2 for that at a thrift store. And for 30 cents, I bought a map of Ohio that folds out. So these I'm going to use on some projects. Um, I got a metal sign, uh, Natural American Spirit Cigarettes. So this isn't an old one because it's got the surgeon's warning on it, so you know. But I paid only $2.92. And it's metal. People love the metal. Um, I got this little door. It's got popsicle sticks. I think they had it stuck in the ground, but I'm going to probably take those off. But it says, uh, welcome, welcome to our home. Isn't that sweet? And it's got a little sawtooth hook so you can hang it up. So I've bought these in different sizes and different colors, and they always seem to do pretty good. Uh, let's see. I got this. I wasn't sure if I'm going to use this or uh, sell it. It was 50 cents. Um, you could use it for your cutlery uh, in the kitchen or even in a desk drawer with your pens and such. And 50 cents, that was a very good price. So even if I sell it, it'll be worth it. Um, another garage sale. Uh, this lady had, I think I got four or five of these antique magazines. And I, she had them for free. And I was like, oh, those look interesting. And she said, actually, those are from the 60s. <laughs> So they're getting old themselves. In fact, this one says March of 65. So I might just bundle these up and sell them all together. Um, so I'm sure they will do well. Uh, I did get something that I've never seen before. It was very interesting. It is uh, the Book of Psalms from chapter 1 to 109 in Braille. And uh, I've... I've never seen these before at a thrift store. Um, this one was $8.99. And when I looked it up on eBay, it looks like they're selling for between like $35 and $50. And most of the ones I saw that are listed currently are buy it now. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, if, if people were interested or if there's any bidding. But $8.99, I thought that was worth the effort. But you could tell. Could you imagine what the whole Bibles were? I mean, it has to be, it has to fill the room. So I was very happy with that. Um, I did get some fabric. I got some blue of the toile, they call it. I got red check. I got white. I got red toile. Yeah, that's where it's got the pictures on it. I think I got like four pieces of that. Um, some different green. One has dots, one has flowers on it. And this one is like an upholstery fabric. It's got leaves. So I think I paid maybe $4 for that whole pile. So that was pretty good. Um, I did buy, they had some real new looking towels at uh, the thrift store. And I got this huge one for 99 cents. So... I figured that was a decent price. And it's 100% cotton from Castle. Um, two of the last things I got, I got from the Pottery Barn um, in the Scratch and Dent area. I've been looking for something like this for my uh, booth at the Antique Mall. Because I have a whole bunch of canes. You know, I've been showing you different canes. This is going to be perfect to put them in. It's an umbrella stand. And if you notice, the one little foot is bent here. So this was a $30 item, and it was marked down in the scratch and dent area for $5. So I'll put a not for sale price on it and just use it for my canes. Uh, but it is really cute. Umbrellas, canes, anything that stands up. So that's what that pink tag is. And the other item I got, I had a ton of like wicker boxes and wicker suitcases and just different things for decorative storage. They had these. Ugh. Really big, really heavy uh, wicker suitcases for $20, and they were marked 50% off. So I got two of these. So I was thinking about using them here at my house, but I don't really need them. So they are going to go out to the antique mall, and I'll probably put 
like $25 on them? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So that's all I got this weekend. I was very picky about what I bought. Um, saw a lot of cute things, but the price just didn't make it worth my while to lug it all the way home. So next Thursday we'll be get back to regular garage sailing. And please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about what I got this week. And I will see you next time. Until then, happy picking. Bye!